Let's play! There comes a time in everybody's life where they look at themselves in the mirror and say, what am I willing to do today? What am I willing to put on the line to further prove my character? Well, this wasn't what I had planned today. I had plans to sit down, eat some star fruit, and just enjoy life. Turns out, that's not what was going to happen today. I looked in that mirror. I didn't see myself. I saw a shell of a man who made a series of videos that kept getting comments, kept getting people saying, please do me. A man doesn't break his promise. So therefore, today, I'm going to be doing a good portion, I say a good portion because I couldn't find half of these damn things, of the characters requested of me to be read from the Sonic fan character wiki. Please enjoy. Oh boy. The first one we have is Daniel, Daniela the cat. The name Daniel G. Change. Nicknames literally nothing. It's not that there are none, because the nickname section would not exist if there were none. It is literally the nickname of nothing. Uh, 18 years of age and a cat. Now, I'm, I'm not versed in cats. I've always been more of a dog person. But don't cats only live like maybe 15 years? Uh, gender. Male and female. I can see from the two distinct, very different pictures that that is going to be the case. Uh, height, 100 centimeters, 3 foot 3. Hey, that's fairly normal Sonic character height. I'm okay with that. Weight of 35 kilograms or 77 pounds. IQ of 100 to 115. It fluctuates, apparently, of average intelligence. Um, I think, I'm pretty certain that that's slightly below genius. Isn't genius like 130? I'm not sure. Uh, marital status is single. Wow, we're not even going relationship. We're just going straight up marital. And special ability is gender bend. That power seems incredibly situational. Like, I've seen situational powers before, but I'm not sure. Now, let's, let's talk about these pictures. In terms of art... They're decently drawn. I mean, look at this. Like, there's nice dark outlines. I do enjoy dark outlines. A bit bumpy on the top, but, I mean, it, look, it looks decent. Uh, doesn't seem to be using a base. If it is, shame on you. Okay, I mean, a little weird. Got a little bit of a, a busty dominatrix thing on that one, and the other one's kind of just your average sort of... B buff hunky this I'm not even sure who this is trying to appeal to story oh, not not much Daniel is an 18 year old cat with the ability to change gender this helps him with spying and learning secrets from others or it can have consequences hmm okay so for spying um normally you know, James Bond um all the other big spies don't they have like a hundred different disguises I mean, if you can change from a yellow cat with abs to a yellow cat with boobs, there's not much of a jump. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that doesn't seem like a good, a good disguise when there's only two options. He's able to a, swap gender at will, and when he is female, calls himself Daniela. To be continued, colon, pipe. And this is by Iron the Hedgehog's characters. Oh, I remember. I remember Iron the Hedgehog. Oh, I, mi I skipped one. I'm not going to skip one. Next up, we have f the incredibly creatively named Fast the Hedgehog. Oh, my goodness. This looks kind of like a troll character. Let me uh, move that so you can see that. Might be a troll. Might be a troll character, not exactly sure, uh, but I'm, hey, I'm equal opportunity, let's continue. Very nice use of the end square bracket there, tells you a lot about his character. 
Bio. Fast the Hedgehog is an artificial hedgehog like Shadow. Long story short, they are brothers. Wait a second. Wait, when was this written? I gotta know. History. When was this written? Um. Uh. March 18th, 2000. Okay. But when was it made, I think, is, is the better one. Okay. So, you know, I think maybe this came before Archie Comics actually gave Shadow a brother in the stupidest comic idea I've ever seen. Being a gun-toting maniked, not really a maniked, who lives in a utopia full of citizens out in Wild Canyon. Despite that, despite that he is really awesome hedgehog, despite that he is a really awesome hedgehog to hang out with. Alright. Story of being Shadow's brother. Apparently, long story short is, well, long story short here. There was a character named Flash the Cheetah who used to pick on Fast all the time. Eventually, Flash decided to do this one ceremony, just this one, brand Fast on the butt, which made him brothers with Flash. Um, I don't think that's how brothers work. Okay, Flash the Cheetah short version. Good, that's all I need, the short version. Flash was a creation of Dr. Gerald Robotnik in which made him brothers with Shadow. Fair enough. Family. Fast family would be his wife, Sonia. Are we talking about the underground Sonia? Adopted child, Passion. Did you pick that name yourself? Brother Flash, brother Shadow, and his brother Hedge. So you're telling me there's there's one called Hedge the Hedgehog, or is it, or or is it going for a more creative Hedge the Hog? Is he a pig? I mean that'd be pretty creative. Fast is a chameleon like Espio. Now I'm pretty sure that's a hedgehog. I have not seen any either furry, as in like with with furry hair, nor multi spiked chameleons in my life. Except he can change into many colors, different colors, mind you, not just many, many colors, and make himself rainbow colored. He almost has perfect pinpoint accuracy. So we got a sort of, of bullseye mixed with being able to change colors. Alternate forms, supersonic, just like about, just about any other fan character, he can go supersonic with all seven emeralds, or would that be super fast? Which is very confusing, because if he can go super fast... Oh. Dark form. Eventually, after picking on fast too much, he would go into a dark form and show you no mercy! Whoa. That's five exclamation marks worth of no mercy. Uh. Evil form. Not to be confused with dark, because dark is not evil, guys. Dark is misunderstood. Evil is just like, nah, I'm evil. Not to be confused with Evil the Hedgehog. Sometimes Fast would just go rouge, um, sorry, rogue, no, he, and just start going all out. This form happens when angry and or picked on by Flash too much. Ultra dark form. Remember, this, this, is, this isn't evil. Used as a last resort in battle that will cause great chaos to the world. Fast has just about unlimited energy. Not unlimited. Just about unlimited. It's sort of like absolute zero. You never reach it, but you come close. And uh, for the quote, You think you can stop me with your limited power? On the plus side, he does saw, he does have the ability to solve the energy crisis. A uh, weapons. Fast the Hedgehog has just about any gun you can find. If you can name any gun, he is more than likely to have it. Can I name it Bob? Does he have a Bob? Ah. Fast speed. It's fun to say, actually, because the way the S sort of curves back into itself. Fast is tended to be a fast character, really, who is great with tech. His speeds can rival Sonic's at times. That's a fast character. And here we have Hedge, who is a hedgehog. And the music is Shadow the Hedgehog, me against 
That looks like an AMV. I will not click that. How he felt when first introduced to the Mobies. I've never heard the term Mobies. Is that possibly some sort of a derogatory term for someone from Mobius to a canon character? Is there derogatory things towards canon characters? Uh, Dark Sun Amy. Time of Dying. That's his theme song. Okay. Good, good to know. And finally, Solaris Theme 2. That's a good song. I'm not going to deny it. I don't think it's your theme song, though. Oh, it's, it's a supersonic theme. That is one of supersonic themes. So, hey, can't argue with that. All right, next up we have... Oh, God, what is his name? Unrio... Or no, Uno Rin. Uno the Fox. I need to draw so many Ono... S Wait, what? I need to draw so many Ono, oh so many characters I never use. Oh, God. Urgh. <laughs> A colon pipe. Uno, I drew with my tablet. That's Uno, see? His face looks like an N, apparently. Name, Uno Rin. Nickname, Uno. Father, Corpse. Or, or is that rather more like pronounced core as in like the army term and her mother was noon i we done about the time was was he miraculously conceived from his father at noon he's 12 years of age and his hair color is orange looks pretty white to me but hey might just be a black and white picture artsy and fartsy and stuff alignment is neutral that's good not, not someone evil for once uh, eye color blue his friends, his demonic doll named Sylvester. If you, I wouldn't be friends with a demonic doll, especially if you're neutral. That kind of doesn't make sense. That's like saying, no, 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 I'm a good person. I'm just friends with Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> his uh, sex is male, and he wears a blue tank top with a blue diamond. Is that a J.O. crystal, perhaps? And he wears brown pants. He's a fun-loving kid. Oh, but he doesn't understand the meaning of demonic beings. It's too much for him. He's 12 years of age. Dislikes. Core trying to take away Sylvester. Soda, pizza, and meat. Oh, and I missed his favorite things of cookies, lemonade, and anything fun. Hey, I think soda, pizza, and definitely meat are very fun. Those are those... Anything fun is it's too broad to be favorites and then dislike those very specific things. Uh, we have Uno and Sylvester talking. Ha ha! Good one, Sylvester! I sound like a 12-year-old. Uh, get rid of that damn demon doll! <laughs> and finally, here's him being possessed by the, by the demon doll in, in, a, in a... he's crying tears of blood. Okay. Sounds good. That one's easy. Let's read some comments. O M G, Uber cuteness overload. I L Y Uno, so fucking cute. And then uh, Corey Comics is like, thank you. Colon three. Oh, no! What does this mean? I have to draw him again. X D. Very good. Very good. All right. Next up, we have. Ooh, this one, this one, this one makes, oh, okay. Slick, the blue angel sea slug. Now, I'm wondering, is, is a blue angel sea slug possibly a real thing? And it is. I've seen these before. I thought so. It is a cool animal. And if I recall, actually, didn't Archie add some, like, aquatic animals into the comics? I mean, okay. You know, actually, I'm going to check. Archie Comics Sea Slug. Um, oh, Sea Slug amputates tip of its penis? That's exactly. Archie Comics seeing O being... Oh, okay. Okay, I was like, how is that related? But I, I, I see. Okay. Sounds good. Sea... Slick the Sea Slug. Image. Right there we have. Slick Rust and Janet. Or Jeanette. Full name... Slick Salugis. Sa sal sal Salalugis? How do I pronounce this? To Google Translate. They never fail me. 
detect language? Let's hear this. Salugius. Salugius. Thank you, random robotic female. Okay. Gender is male. Alignment is true neutral. Now, if we're going off of Dungeons and Dragons, you might understand what that is. A species, a blue angel sea slug. Eye color, amber. I don't think sea slugs have eyes. Uh, likes water, being alone, Portuguese man of war, jellyfish, and sand. Um, aren't Portuguese man of war like known for killing lots of animals and people because they're just basically one giant stinger? I don't know. Dislikes birds, social activity, being touched, sharks, snails, sea snakes, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Why does he dislike Sonic? Shouldn't everyone on this site like Sonic? I mean, uh, it just doesn't make much sense when it's the Sonic fan character wiki. Oh, maybe, maybe it's just this character, but that wouldn't make him true neutral. If he was true neutral, he'd be indifferent to Sonic. He'd be like, some days he likes him, some days he doesn't. Relatives, none that he knows. Do sea slugs reproduce asexually? I'm not sure. Uh, personality, calm and collected, and prefers flight to fight. Slightly ironic, considering he's a f very, very much a flightless animal. Um, racial advantages. Excuse me? Racial advantages. I mean, that's something that would come up in, like, some sort of terrible propaganda newsletter thing. I, okay. Uh, the ability to breathe underwater, significant eyesight and hearing, cannot be tripped due to sticky solutions secreted by his feet, walking on water, slick the blue angel sea slug confirmed to be Jesus, uh, camouflage, he never gets lost because of the sticky solution his feet secrete that only he can see to all others it is almost invisible. Oh, that'd be awkward. Can you imagine going out on a date and being like, hey, I'm just going to put my hand on her shoulder, but then it gets like stuck with the stickiness and she's just like, what's on my shoulder? I don't see anything. And he's just like nothing and starts wiping it off on his on his pants. And then he realized that it's stuck to his pants now. And then it gets awkward and, you know, they go home and like, nice. It was a nice date that you took me on. Maybe I'll see you again. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, m maybe one day. And, and they never just see each other again. Inabilities. Because maybe it's easier to list the inabilities as opposed to the abilities? Sure. A slick cannot use chaos emeralds or any other chaos energy source. Hey, that's something new. I've never seen that on this site. His chemical ma makeup clashes with the energy and would hurt him instead of helping him, like Superman to Kryptonite. Nope, we're back to where we normally are. Slick is also kind of slow due to the sticky solution that is secreted by his feet. He cannot go very fast due to his feet sticking to the ground. He cannot be out of water for longer than an hour without becoming sick and possibly receiving physical damage. Slick's eyes are very sensitive to sunlight, therefore... He has to look at the ground whenever he goes so they won't get damaged. Did this person come up with a literal, canonical, actual reason why he, why a character is mopey and looking at the ground always? I mean, slight congrats for working around the fact that it's an incredibly overused trope. Slick is a ranged fighter, by the way. Bio. Slick doesn't have much of a history. He mainly spent his years trying frivolously, to survive in the harsh environment of the sea. He doesn't have any siblings or parents that he knows of. All of his species are born orphans. Wow. Now that's a racial disadvantage, if you ask me. Slick hasn't made much effort to communicate with people in the past. That is until he met Janet the Tanuki and Rust the Maned Wolf. Oh my god. Slick acquired his dislike for Sonic the Hedgehog when he came running past him while he was basking in the sun on his home... Be on his weight. Disney's not supposed to be out. Like, he never really forgave him for that. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying Sonic just ran by and Slick was like, dude, what the hell? I was just lying here and you just ran by? <laughs> I mean, like, 
What? Why, why does that equal dislike? That's literally just someone walking by. Okay, sure. He never really forgave him for that. He doesn't really care what Eggman or anyone else does, so long as it doesn't hurt his home, him, or Janet or Rust. Quotes. I'm a slug, what do you expect? Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Uh, let's go to Khalil the Chameleon. Oh, we got our second chameleon going on here. Mary Sue test res... Didn't we do this one? I think I did this one. Yes, I definitely did this one. Okay, I remember. Here we have Trouble the Cat. Hashtag info. Let's go back up to the top. So, Oh, this is on the fanfic world wiki? I never even knew about this site. It's an entire untapped world of 143 pages. Okay. <laughs> this one needs my very special voice. Info. Full name. Trouble M. Tricky Claws. Age. 19 and 1 quarter. Species. The rare dark speckled Mobian cat. Gender is female. Alignment is neutral. Forms. Dark trouble and dark claw trouble. Now, see, dark claw trouble had to be declawed after a while. You know, Mobian laws and stuff, they say you have to declaw your cats. Too many bad incidents. She likes messing with her enemies and her friends. Does that really start to make the line blur? I don't know. She likes black magic. Being allowed to have a little fun, which is have a little fun while being allowed. Uh, dislikes girly things and goody two-shoes. Also her family, except her father. So she hates Rosie the cat. She doesn't hate Dylan the cat. She hates Glacier the cat. She hates Hermione the hedge cat, which is... Whew. And Cody the hedgehog, her stepfather. Her friends include Tinsel the rabbit, Charlie the cat, Amanda the hedgehog. That one sounds familiar. Shanale, or Sh Shanali the hedgehog. Drake the tenrec. I need to know what a tenrec is. A ten wreck? What is that? Oh, it's basically not. Oh, that is. That is just basically a hedgehog. I'm. Okay, sure. And Sasha the cat. Her rivals and enemies are Starfall the jackal, Sarah the hedgehog, and Blaster the hedgehog. I almost thought that said Blister. Crushes and relationships? She's very flirty in general, but has a thing for Drake. Let's be honest, we all have a thing for Drake. <laughs> Just kidding, I hate Drake. Wait, are we talking... Oh, no, that's Drake the Tenric, not Drake. Not not that Drake. Okay. Um, Powers. Trouble is a dark mage. She has a variety of dark and magic attacks. And has also learned one fire spell, Fire Blast. I don't know, I would have personally gone for Flamethrower, it has a bit better accuracy. She also attacks in cat-like ways. She has the ability to make everything pitch black, and has an excellent sense of smell and night vision. How does she make everything pitch black? Does she just... poof and black clouds, or does she attack their eyes? Need a little bit, little bit of explanation on that. Weakness, water elemental attacks, and she often can't fight in heavy rain. Her fear are bloodhounds. Alright, now it's time for her personality. You can't see me, but I'm air quoting. She's tricky, flirty, mysterious, moody, 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 yes, moody, egotistical, and carefree. Her backstory and her current life, they both occur concurrently due to a, a time vortex that keeps repeating. Along with her sister Glacier, Treble was abandoned at birth. They were taken to live in an orphanage, but Treble escaped at the age of two. <laughs> Treble indeed. Longing for something other than to sit around and not be adopted for the rest of her life. After roaming the streets for several months, a gang of troublemakers took her in. Well, how lucky that someone with her name sort of halfway in the it took her in they'd say kid oh wait no that's not her name i see they'd always say kid you're trouble and that's how trouble got her name after many long painful years of serving them trouble escaped and now lives a solitary life still haunted by the occurrences in the past here's her using dark trouble back off she says and now for some fun trivia 
Trouble's fear of bloodhounds come from a pack of bloodhounds that nearly killed her as a child. <laughs> the M in Trouble's full name stands for mysterious, but no one is aware that of the M's actual meaning. So what does it actually mean? Trouble's entire persona is fake, a cover-up. It is unknown what for, but it seems she still has a few unaddressed problems. Oh, and, and her, her theme song is Shadows by Lindsey Sterling. I'm not going to play that because I'll, I'll get brutally attacked by whatever Sony music group's attacking me. Here's some quotes. Face it, hun. As long as I'm around, you've got more than a little competition. Smirk. To, this is to Sh Sasha the Fox. Uh, uh, why do you even do this? To Blaster the Hedgehog while he is attacking her. You've messed with the wrong cat. Now the claws come out. To a random attacker. The name's Trouble the Cat. Hottest cat this side of Mobius. Wink. How Trouble introduces herself to most Mobians. So, you know, she's going to the bank one day and she's just like, you know, would you like to make a deposit or withdrawal, ma'am? The name's Trouble the Cat, ma'am. I don't care. Um, could you please, would you like to make a... Withdrawal or the hottest cat this side of Mobius. Ma'am, that, that is neither a withdrawal or a deposit. Can you please just wink? Sorry, ma'am, we don't accept those here. Here's a com couple commissions, couple artwork. All right. Okay. Sure. Drawn in 20 seconds flat for real. I'm calling you out on that. That was not 20 seconds flat. I'm going to call you out. I want to see you draw that yourself. 20 seconds. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by the boobs here. I mean, holy. How does one. Those things should be everywhere. Now, I don't know. I don't have boobs. I don't know how they work. I am fairly certain that in, in something like that, they wouldn't uh, tape super glue. I don't know. Maybe. But also, ow. Look at that arm. Ow, that, ow, that hurts just looking at. Is it broken? Is she, is she Monkey D. Luffy? I'm not sure, but okay. And here's some, some rouge recolors. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's read some comments. I enjoy reading the comments. Uh, can I ask permission to put fan art of Trouble in the gallery? Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, we have some, we have some actual fighting going on. I'm sorry to say, but I do not support this character. You wanted my opinion. That's the only reason I am stating this. I dislike one of the photos where she's wearing the flirty outfit, and I took it offensively, thus making me dislike this character. I take small things very offensively. Sorry. I also take her backstory and guilt offensively. Even just the thought of murderers offends me, even make me slightly nervous. Sorry, not even a small bit of support for this character. Wow. Wow. Oh. Blaze the Cat 9 tag? Okay. Okay, let's let's do this. Wow, I'm speechless. First off, this character's first picture one I looked is from a deviant art cherry maker. Wow, that's professional art. So her forms, they are like Stark Super Saiyan 1 and Dark Super Saiyan 2. Nice originality. She hates her family, good, except for her father. So if she was like Luke Skywalker, she would have joined this dark side. And her powers is being a dark mage? What is this, Final Fantasy 25? Wow, weakness, water and rain. Oh god, drinking water killed her. I'm so thirsty, I need a smexy ice soda. That's... Oh, iron! Wow, we're coming full circle multiple times. Okay, fine, fine. Next up, we have Joseph the Hedgehog. And we're back at our familiar wiki. Joseph is a snappy 13-year-old hedgehog who lives on Onyx Island. Actually, nowadays it's called Steelix Island after the incident. Joseph is a royal purple young hedgehog. He has white chest fur, not unlike Shadow the Hedgehog's. He has three sweeping bangs, which he keeps permed, and black jeans. He is kind, happy, somewhat cocky hedgehog, so... Sonic? He can get into an extreme rage when insulted or made fun of, and will try to destroy almost anything he gets his hands on. Don't hand him a baby! History. Not so much is known about his early childhood, for he cannot remember from his memory loss. 
His memory loss initiated when he fell off a tree, breaking the skin of his head open. Oh, we're getting into some real stuff here. One thing he remembers was being attacked by Eggman Nega and having one of the sold emeralds shatter, levying, levying a shard in his arm. In his later childhood, he grew up on Onyx Island in the Soul Dimension and looks up to Princess Blaze. He also has a great fascination with computers. Oh, we, we have a... We have a thingy? Can we look at the thingy? Login required? Wow. It's just not even there. The soul shard in his arm gives him great power when called upon. He cannot go super, but he can utilize the soul shard by going zen, which gives him an ice blue sheen around him and gives him increased speed and strength within this form. Isn't zen like being calm and cool and collected and like yoga and stuff? Wouldn't that just make you... Not go fast and stuff? I don't know. I'm not a yoga master. I play Wii Fit about as much as anyone else who bought Wii Fit, which is not very much. He has learned the spin dash from Sonic the Hedgehog during his time on Southern Island. Weaknesses. He is a very frail kid, both emotionally and physically. Alright. A comment. Whoa. Whoa. Kinaro and Tito3915 is calling him out. What's with the new people always posting recolors? Do they not read the rules? Gets kind of annoying. Whoa. Um, you've got recolors? No recolors, please. Oh, they got rid of all the pictures because they were recolors. I see. All right. And finally, we have Huntress Knuckles the Echidna. Huntress the Echidna is copyrighted by Knuckles the Echidna lover. Okay, um... I'm not the secretary of the Copyright Association of the United States of America. However, I'm pretty certain that that's not how that's not how copyright works, considering it's based off of an already copyrighted character. But fine, hey, if you want to put in the submittal, go ahead. No one except myself and other characters who are in other others whose characters are involved with Huntress are allowed to edit this page without my permission. Can I just... Oh, I don't want to log in. I was going to just place a period and see if she noticed. Huntress Knuckles, the Echidna. Huntress is a 16-year-old hot slash dark pink. Are we talking about, like, divided hot slash dark, or does it just change in the light? She is the gender-bent form of Knuckles the Echidna and shares many of his traits, most notable his gullibleness. His name is, or, excuse me, her name is Knuckles Huntress the Echidna, title Ambassador of Echidna Affairs, Affairs, Welfare and War Conflicts, Guardian of the Mebian Master Emerald. Mebian. I mean, Mebian so confusa. No, that's not the right voice. Um, Misa. Me being so confused, huh? Jar Jar Binks. Look him up, kids, if you if you don't know the horrors. Nicknames. Hot-headed knucklehead. Age 16. Species. Median slash short-beaked echidna. Oh, we got boobs. Oh, boobs. Um, Lochi, the echidna, is the mother. Not to be confused with Loki. Very different. Also male. Uh, Lorel, the echidna. Father deceased. We Machi, the Echidna, stepmother deceased. Uh, Locke, the Echidna. I'm pretty sure Locke, the Echidna, is a real character. Same with Laura Lee. Possibly? I'm not sure. Uh, Winemacher, the Echidna. Um, romantic interest, Knuckle, the Echidna, ex-boyfriend. But isn't she... Isn't she Knuckles? Isn't she, That... That's... 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 <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm not sure if that's incest or... <sighs> uh, Red the Hedgehog. I think I've read his. Hand to the Echidna is the current boyfriend, by the way. Um, fur and muzzles. All fur and dreadlocks. Hot pink, dark pink. Muzzle and chest. All right, that's easy enough. Appearance. As said in the first statement, Huntress is a hot, dark pink Echidna with length and dreadlocks replacing... Oh, I thought that said replacing. Reaching her knees. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, hair for knees is creepy thought. Oh, she has a set of wonderful purple eyes, relating her deeply to the roots of her male counterpart, Knuckles the Echidna, yet a light gray muzzle to set them apart further. Okay. 
She has many battle scars due to her position as the ambassador of Ankidna affairs, welfare, and war conflicts. She wears gloves, to which they are exactly the same in all aspects as Knuckles is, having four matching knuckles. The same as his, and wears a training bra top with long pants. That's a dress. Long pants. I lost where I was. Uh, both colored slightly off black. On her dreadlocks, she has five colored rings, all being different shades of brown. Oh my god, I'm not reading all this. Okay. Oh, that's her human. That's also Angelina Jolie. Just skip to the, the trivia. Although Huntress is called Huntress, her name still resides as Knuckles. Huntress's rings are not five different colors. Two are very dark brown. Uh, see further details on Combi Sticks. Combi Sticks on the Alien vs. Predator wiki? wiki? Oh, okay, so she fights with that. Okay, makes sense. Um, her main enemies, the Elemental Echidna Warriors, also known as the Echidna Rangers, come in several different elements, as you know. Oh, thanks for assuming. Uh, so far, the seen and known elements are Earth, basically just a giant stone echidna, Fire, a giant echidna warrior made entirely from molten lava, Water, a large water-based giant who can reshape and reform to get into tight spaces, if you know what I mean. Dagger and Huntress haven't known a long time time. This is boring. Um, alright, so those were a bunch of the ones that were requested, but I see this. Oh, but I want to join the chat room. Do I have? No, I don't have it. Actually, one sec, I might. Oh, hey! I might be able to log in. Great, you're logged in. I wonder if anyone's gonna recognize me. Hey, guys! I wonder if they know who I am. I just wonder. Let's see here. I've, I've, I've been in this chat room before. Actually, the nicest group of people ever. Gotta say. Um, unlike the Fanon wiki, which um, is, is the opposite of the nicest people ever, they got mad at me and said they were going to sue me for making fun of them. Also, I wrote uh, this. And they banned me. So is no one going to... No one going to say... What's up? No one's going to say... I mean, fine. Oh, Iron Miner Zone, you just keep appearing everywhere. Huh, that's fine. Ignore me. I mean, it's not like I'm making a video right now. Pshaw. Hi, Frozen Hybrid. I'm just gonna leave this up while I read another page. Let's go random. Why not? Let's go... Go crazy. We got Jolt the Hedgehog. Jolt is vicious, cool, active, powerful, raw powered. That's different from powerful. Tense and 16 year old hedgehog created by Metal Sonic the Hedgehog. And he has a bad temper. Okay, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, you fat sack of shit. Get out of my way or take the beat down that, that's waiting for you. Cool. He likes fighting evil. His girlfriend. His friends, winning fatalities, fighting food, his blue Camaro, and metal music. This guy is literally what high school was for me. Well, no, like not what I liked, what everyone else did. Dislikes losing. I think everyone dislikes that. Seeing his friends or his girlfriend die, or bad, or injured badly. I think dying kind of over is, is, is injured badly. Being called weak, evil, messing up his looks, getting annoyed, and or killed. Have you guys said anything? Wait, aren't you the Canadian YouTuber guy? I swear there's some... <laughs> oh, you got me. You got me. Oh, you got me. Okay. Here's Katana the Hedgehog, added by Metal Sonic. All right, we, we got some bases going on here. Bases, bases, based god. Uh, it's you again. Hello, Canadian YouTuber guy. Hello, people. How are you doing? You guys are the, the best. Gotta love all of you. Also, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Canada brought us great people. Nickelback. Many people are going to disagree with you, but I don't.
Just let them go. We got Team Ulterior here. Misty, Dynasty, Sarah, the, and Tara. Okay, that's kind of boring. Let's go talk to these people. Why not? Carly Ray Jepsen. Uh, mainly, hello, camera. It is I, Jimmy Neutron, and one bad person, JB. Of course, yes. So, um, all right. I think with all of these awesome people, it is I, the Rat Boy Genius. See, these guys are awesome. These guys, they're funny. They're self-referential. And I just want to get out of the way that originally I started the series making fun of Sonic fan characters. Um... I'm a huge Sonic fan, but the fan characters always made me angry. But you know what? Coming onto this, I've learned whatever. These people are funny. These people are nice. These people are accepting. And yeah, some of the some of the writing's terrible. Some of the stuff written is terrible. But just thank you for being awesome, you people. You punk butterfly. You Muppet One Seven One. Ivy the Hedgehog. Iron Miners. You're not even joining us, but I saw your name everywhere. This part. So I just want to say thank you and thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know if I'll ever do more Sonic fan character readings. I felt like this was a nice conclusion, and much like you know Star Wars or any of those other things, you don't want to continue genius. Except for maybe this, this is like the OVA, this is the, the one extra episode that is included on the DVD, the $90 DVD, as a bonus. So, I think with that, I think, you know what, we're going to finish up with doing one quick final reading. Also, a quick um, a head bow to uh, the end Tom page, it got destroyed and it's very sad, but... I think we're going to do one quick reading of the Tanner the Hedgehog page as as, as as a going away. Please don't, I didn't write this. Hello, this is about Tanner the Hedgehog. I hope you like him. He is the best, the best Hedgehog. He makes L please, please watch him. Tanner, we promise you that your OC will be great. If it isn't a Mary Sue, our company, thank what he looked like. Hari, brown. Fur, pink. Ecolor, purple. He has hat and mole. He is a female tails recolor. Like, games, Sonic, spam, ki. Everyone likes ki. Dislikes, ki. Everyone also hates ki. Cod, Eggman, Spider Monkeys, Gamer Boy. He has super forums, Suppa Tanner, Hippery Tanner, Dark Tanner, Light Tanner, Mom Tanner, and Tom Tanner, God Tanner, Werehog Tanner, and Yo Dog Tanner. His personality, happy, funny, creeped. He is a guy who trun into a female FOC, fuck, and now is having sex with everyone ever, even you. His theme song, I think we'll just throw it into the background. Oh no, we'll get in trouble. Nope, that we didn't do that. I thought that was a Sonic song. Voice actors, English, English Tommy Wiseau, Japanese, some guy. Chapter 1, The Love. Once upon a time, he was a Canadian. He parade a ton of Sonic games, and he wanted to be Sonic. Then one day, he was brought into Sonic World by Taildoy, and he was like, holy crap. No, I need you, Tommy Wiseau. Holy crap. I am a female fox. What is going on? I can't. Do, nobody can do Tommy Wiseau's voice. Then the Bob Bam Eggman came out and he said, la, 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 la. I brought you here and I will kill some you. No, replied Tanner. He ran and he killed Eggman and Sue. He pooed out and said, Yay, you saved me. Let's have sec. More story. Chapter 2. The Fock versus Fock. One day Tanner came a crush tails and said, Sup? And Tails said, why you look like me? And Tanner said, I am complete orainally because I have new name and color and it mooks me very new. Fuck you, recolor. Tails respond. They hated each a each root. Chapter 3. The fat ass cat. Look, I used ass. Am I mature? Tain was run and he run into big dat cat. Da completely different ten than big the cat and said, whole shit. Ho, oh, you fat... I'm not going to say that. Tanner was in yo dog mode. And Big Dat Cat said, No, bitch. And bitch slam... Blitch sla him cross. And then he lay in the sexy clown land. 
Chapter 4, The Sex Clone. No sex for this wiki, sorry. Chapter 6, E-Man Returns. Tanner was sit with, Egg with Sonic and Eggman came and said, I have come back to kill you! Oh no. Hap 7, E-Man. Time to fight, boom bam, fighting noises, blam, Eggman died. It's beautiful. Relationships to people. Sanuk, not Sonic by the way, he is boyfriend with him. And Tom is good friend of his. His theme song. I'm not going to click any of them. Big that cat, not big the cat. Tails is an asshole who is really a female. <laughs> nice. Tails Sokka. Tails Sokka. I remember you in the comments. Oh. I remember you. Okay, now I know who wrote this. Okay. We got fan art. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, I can't read the comments. Big Deck Cat's freaking theme song, though. I'm crying. Love your videos, dude, but really, Yo Dog Tanner? Yo Dog, I heard you like Tanner, so put some end Tom in your Tanner. Oh my goodness. Tom, not now. So you can watch Tyler Tanner while you watch Tanner while you read end Tom. Lol, that makes sense. How can he all be Sonic characters when it can't. when it don't say his parents are dead? Epic troll. I love your. I like your YouTube videos, man. But I am no man. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, it's good. Face palms and flies off. I'm gonna cry, you ruined tails, you die now. Thank. Recolor, no! Are you trying to make me cry with this beauty? Because you did. It's so beautiful. You people like it? So much, a Mac for chaps for you. This is be beautiful, mate, and Tom. Clap, clap, clap. Good job, Tanner. I see you are Noah Hedgehog. I thought you were a god, though. With that, ladies and gentlemen, ends the Sonic fan character wiki read-through. As I said, this was originally made to make fun of the people. But not anymore. Not anymore. I've learned that these people are people, and that these people can take a joke, and that this is all for fun. So I just want to say thank you. Please, learn how to write in English, please. <laughs>